inventor, scientist, and MIT professor Robert Rhines, who pioneered sonar and radar imaging technology that is used throughout the world, holds a new patent on a wireless scanning system called Scan2Link that reads special barcodes and converts them automatically to sound, picture, and text on your computer. Let's say you're interested in seeing There Will Be Blood, but you're not sure you want to pop for the tickets, the dinner, and the babysitter. Scan the barcode on the ad, and voila, there's the trailer. Ladies and gentlemen. Once the software is installed, no further human intervention is necessary. If Daniel Day-Lewis doesn't do it for you, how about Italy? Pick up your Fodor, pass the scanner over the Rome barcode, and you're touring the Eternal City. But a trip to the Eternal City can be eternally confusing for first-time visitors. Uses for the scanner are limited only by the imagination. Want to meet the author of The Appeal? John Grisham is just a barcode away. I, I plot these books out, and so I know where they're going, I know how they're going to end. Want to make calamari? This cookbook chef guides you through it. Spread the squid out on a collapsible steamer basket, like that, set it inside, drop the heat to low just to maintain a simmer. Want some waiters for your next fishing trip? Here's something a catalog can't do. The uppers on the XT waiters are totally unique. They're a lightweight stretch fabric. You don't need any heavy fabric up here. According to a 2003 U.S. Census Bureau study, 30% of all computer households don't use the internet because they feel they don't need it. An additional 10% cite lack of confidence, skills, or time. With the scan to link system eliminating the need for URLs, these concerns will vanish. Most importantly, the owner of the scan to link system can sell advertising space on any website linked to its barcode. The more widespread its use, the more profits will increase. If you're interested in learning how to acquire exclusive rights to the Scan2Link system, please contact Robert Rines. Here's how.